What's up guys? Going fishing on this very, very windy day. Just heads up, the audio might be a little on the windy side today, but we're going, cracking in fishing today. It's all Brian's fault. Put it. I, I disagree with that statement. So since we're getting a shrimp bucket together, we're gonna to try and get some shrimp today maybe. The deal around here is priority taking care of Pop Sizzle. Yeah, we also decided to go fishing late today because of the cold weather and then woke up and saw these crazy winds and kind of have to take advantage of the time I have, like today. So yeah, she has, she has coverage from coverage. her family members of watching dead today. The fishing conditions aren't that great, but we have to go when we can go. Yeah, and then Brian was having computer and camera issues this morning and we are spot. now going much later than expected. Yeah, there might be a spot in the lens. We catch the tarpon. But you'll be okay. Running out of time. All right, let's go, let's go. Tide's important. Very important. You, you are gonna love these shrimp. Yeah, nice yep. hand picture yeah. again. Awesome. What do you think, Sizzle? It looks crazy out there. And there's only literally three boats parked here at this particular boat ramp, which is a sign that tells you nobody's out, which means less boat traffic for us and hopefully more fish. That's the right attitude. We're gonna do the best we can with the audio today, right? so bear with me. Sean? First cast and first little twitch twitch pause and he ate it on the fall. So that's a good sign. Fish in the boat. Nice little jack -ravel. Well, nice size jack -ravel actually in the boat. Broke off the skunk just like that on the first cast. Using a little soft plastic today, which is a terrorize and you can see that it's rigged just like so with a loop knot and we have got this avocado color with the green top red bottom so all the products that i like to use including the, my favorite lures like this one is located in my amazon store so check out the description down below and let's see if we can get a tarpon on it now hooked up second fish Good bite so far. Oh, oh, tarpon, tarpon, baby! Yeah! Heck yeah! Don't wrap me, don't wrap me up, don't wrap me up! <laughs> we got it done, we got it done! Woo! Feisty tarpon! That's awesome! Heck yeah, guys! Whoa! Oh. He ate it right on the bottom. I honestly thought he was a Jack Corral at first. Going to the sign, going to the sign. Go forward, go forward. Get me out of here. Oh no. Go to the front. I'm not sure what's going on. I think he got me wrapped. Hold on, he's straight down right here. But I feel like it's stuck on something. Hang on. Just feels weird, hang on. Baby, we gotta get away from this pole. Wrapped on a freaking thing on the bottom. He's hooked. Stop, back, 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 back. I'm wrapped on a freaking line down on the bottom and I see him stuck on it. Go to the back, go to the back. Babe, babe, we're gonna cut him off right now. What are you doing about it? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, God damn it. Un Unbelievable. <sighs> I have nothing to say. Stupid traps. Let's get lines back out. That's all we can do. Guggen mistake. It wasn't a Guggen mistake. There's nothing you done about it. We could have moved the boat, we know better. Well, 
tarped up. Oh, it's tarpon? I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. It might be. I don't know. It's head shaking. First fish I've hooked in like 15 minutes. Take that down. So it's straight. That's a nice run. That might be a tarpon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a huge one. Oh my God. Get away from the pole. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. It's coming back this way. It's coming back this way. I'm scared. I feel violent shakes, guys. Giant fish. Giant fish. So I caught that tarpon. That little tarpon. Well, I lost him on the bottom structure because somebody left their rope there. And uh, basically, when I lost the fish, he's gonna jump. Now he's staying down deep. When I lost that fish, I basically didn't catch anything more casting around Brian and I for 20 more minutes, not another bite. So I think it took them a little while to like calm down again after that fish was caught because they know when a fish jumps around and gets hooked, He's stressed in the water. So all of a sudden we just moved position, first cast down the line into the channel and hooked a monster. Now I'm using very light fluorocarbon leader. We're gonna just have to see what happens here. Take our time with it and uh, pray to God we, we land this fish. But he's going to this pole. We need to pull him away, I think. Right this way. All right, go, go, go. You're gonna jump, you're gonna jump, you're gonna jump. Working in the Stella now. Woo! Monster! Oh, that was so sick! Sick! He's gonna jump again. Oh, sick! Sick, sick, sick! That's sick! This ain't done yet. I feel head shakes. Don't want to really pump them too much because like I said, we're using a tiny little bait, tiny little hook, really light leader. So any, any of these things can fail. My knots can fail. A lot of things can happen. Feels like he's coming up a little bit. He's going to probably run again, but he's down deep here. I don't know if you guys can see him yet. But as I fight him and pump and you know bring him in, that hole's getting bigger and bigger. And every single time he jumps, that hole is still getting bigger and bigger in his mouth. So we're just gonna try to keep that line as tight as possible all the way until we land him. So again, so many things can fail, but that's all part of fishing game. Baby, why are you turning this way? He did not like that. Oh, 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 beautiful. Head shaking like crazy. He just got air. Um, so this is one of the only fish in the world that actually breathes regular air, can come up and gulp air. So when the tarpon do that, he's basically recovering from the fight. See, I'm just putting pressure against the back of his head right here. I mean, I'm talking to mine. I'm putting pressure against the back of his head at all times. So that way I'm wearing him out, not giving him any room. When I get you landed, I'm gonna let you go. It's huge. I couldn't barely control the other fish. Leader, caught tarpon, caught tarpon baby. Sorry for the wind. I just caught this fish. Leader went through the rod tip. Oh no, don't wrap me baby. Let me land you, let me land you. Let me land you, let me land you. Come on, come on, turn, turn, turn. Fish is not done. Get. I'm letting go. The leader's right here. Come on, baby, come on. I'm close, I'm close. Careful, careful. The line just saw it underneath his body. Shoot! 
Let's show him. Look up, look up. Run down, run down. You can't do anything. Where's the fish? Oh, goodness. All right, get the rod, get the rod. Let's do something, get the rod. Baby, I'm trying, it's afraid so bad. Baby, I'm trying. You gotta come back here. Watch, 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 free. A little debrief. It was so windy and crazy over there. I almost ran into the docks and overfish that we came to a calm spot now. Yeah. What that was, um, I don't know how long the fight was. Like half hour? At least half hour. But I'm just feeling the end of my leader here. It's pretty frayed. It's not as terrible as I thought it was going to be um, because that was a huge fish and he jumped a lot of times. So when they jump, they land on the line too and they fray it. But as soon as Brian touched that leader one more time close to his mouth, it just popped. So the line came off and the lure was in his mouth and that'll probably fall right out. But it made me feel good that that fish swam away strong on his own um, because we I fought him for a really long time and he jumped quite a few times. And it was an official catch in a tarpon tournament. That would be considered an official catch because uh, that fish, you got the leader through the rod tip and we also touched the leader quite a few times. So he yeah. is a catch. Um, yeah. And it's just really hard and frustrating and going through a lot of different emotions all at once because you're excited and happy and then you get frustrated because the boat is moving and the wind and there's only two of us and he's filming. Right, let's get another one. So it's just a lot to deal with. But you know what? We just officially Hope caught the biggest tarpon in this area ever and we hooked two. All right, let's so, get back to fishing. Let's get another one. Change the plans, guys. After we caught the tarpon, Darcy slayed a bunch of fish for dinner. Uh, so we got a ton of dinner fish, and then we went snooking, and I actually out snooked her three to one. So uh, we have so much footage that I decided to make another video. That will also allow Darcy, you know, uh, to have a day off the water and spend more time with dad. Uh, actually, I'm just doing this by myself right now because Darcy, uh, her aunt is in here, Dar uh, who is Darcy's dad's sister, of course, and she's a nurse, and so they're inside talking. So. I'm outside. We're actually in a, in a tornado watch right now. That happens in Florida. But anyway, so it's kind of be a two-part video. The next one's going to be awesome as well. Uh, we had some great fishing. This actually turned out to be like one of our best inshore days fishing ever. Jacks, two tarpon, snook, dinner, the whole thing. And, and we went out on the boat at noon. It was really incredible. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I just want to mention to Darcy, uh, you know, she's not here. She's not listening to this. She doesn't know what I'm saying. But, you know, she takes care of her dad like all night. Um, you know, he's in a lot of pain and, you know, in a wheelchair half the time now. So, you know, she's really an angel sent, sent from heaven here for him and, and for me. She's just the most wonderful young lady in the whole wide world. Uh, so w keep watching the videos and we'll see you next time. Thanks you for watching. Follow your dreams and keep on catching. Hey, Sizzle, you see that? Yeah, nice job. I'm going to slap this lunker in your face. I know, please. <laughs> My fish is way bigger than all your fish today. Just saying. Just saying.